Unfortunately, it's not possible to import blend shape animation into iClone. And that's because 3D Exchange supports importing a new character that uses blend shape, but it doesn't support importing animation. So you can create the character, but not animation. There's actually a workaround to create blend shape layers within iClone. So layers that you can keyframe, but you can't copy and paste data into those layers. So you can't import data into those layers from elsewhere. So if you've got a standard iClone character, I've got Caleb here in this project, and you could also have Catherine in any character really. And if you want to get individual layers for each of them, the blend shapes or the morph targets, what you can do is export this as an FBX and then bring that FBX into 3D Exchange. But keep the character open in iClone in the background. So the next step is inside 3D Exchange, you apply that to iClone. And what that will actually do is import a prop. It's a prop version of the character. So then inside the Modify tab in Animation, go into Morph Creator, and it's going to open up the separate Morph Creator program. And the first thing it's going to ask you is, morphs are detected in this prop. Do you want to process the auto conversion? And just say yes to that. And unfortunately, it will remove animation data. Then once it's loaded, choose which blend shapes you want. You can actually remove any that you want. Well, actually, they're, they're morph targets. Uh, these are the blend shapes. The next step is to make sure that your main character is selected inside iClone. Then go back to the Morph Creator and click Update Morph to iClone. And it doesn't look like anything's changed, but actually it has. Now, you won't immediately get a Morphs track on the timeline necessarily but delete that prop version of the character and then save your project and then reopen it again. You should then get, if you click on the character, you should get the option to display the morph layer. So you can see there's now all of those blend shapes that were in the editor have been brought in so now you can actually go through and keyframe them. If I wanted to add a keyframe here, I can just double click on the timeline and it's going to open up and I'm, and I'm going to click on base body and I'm going to do that and then go back down again. Now, as far as the curve editor goes, there's not going to be anything happening, unfortunately. You can see inside the curve editor, it's not seeing any of these blend shapes because it doesn't work that there are no blend shapes inside the curve editor. So it's, it's a bit useless for that. So, it's possible to copy and paste within iClone. So if I made some keyframes here and I wanted to copy and paste them there, I can do that. But what's not possible is importing these from another program. So if I was to go into Maya and I'd animated the dental lip in here. If I select those keyframes and control copy, pasting doesn't do anything. 
it's just remembering my last copy from within iClone. So in theory, if there was a way of tricking iClone into thinking that the clipboard is full of keyframes that it itself made, then that may be possible to go through. But even that, it's going to take a long time. So if you've got a performance, you'd have to go through and copy and paste each layer of these from Maya. I don't believe there's any way to just <laughs> grab everything and copy and paste it, unfortunately. It's a bit of a pity, but until 3D Exchange supports blend shape animation, that's what we're stuck with.